So we just looked at a lot of different shots that you can add to your game as an outside hitter. One of the great things about working on shots is you can do it with just somebody to toss you a ball. You don't even really need a setter. You don't even really need a net. You can throw balls or tip balls in the different spots in your backyard, in your garage, wherever you need to do it. But it's about hand control and taking the time to do it. A lot of times you get into a hitting warm-up situation and all you want to do is hit the ball hard. But you have to develop your whole game and the whole game is about having all of those shots. Now we're going to get to the meat of outside hitting and that's hitting the ball hard. And we're going to look at four different swings for the outside hitter. The first swing that we're going to look at here is the high hand swing. And that's a swing that goes high off the top of the hands of the block and rips those fingertips off. You get an easy kill off of that shot and you make sure that you don't get blocked back onto your side of the net. So in order to do that, she's going to make sure that she has a high draw again. She does all the same things with the footwork mechanic that we looked at earlier. She gets her feet and her hips open to where the ball is coming from, which is the setter. Okay, and she gets her draw up nice and high. Right elbow high by her ear, left elbow high. Now to hit high hands, it's very simply, she's going to use her exchange and she's going to finish with her palm high through the target. Okay, instead of finishing down low to her side, which brings the ball down, she's going to finish with her palm high toward the target. And the target is the top of the fingertips. So let's see some of these high tool shots. You can see that she has the same high draw. She has a good fast exchange, but she's keeping control of the ball and control of the direction by finishing high with her hand. If she hits this exact same shot, but finishes through with her arm swing, you'll see a different result. Notice how the ball comes back onto her side of the net. Okay, as she finishes down and through, if the block is there, that's a ball that gets blocked every single time. So if she can't hit through the block, hit through the, the seam, hit around the block, or hit down the line, or she's not going to use a tip shot, but she wants to swing away, the best way to do it is high draw, fast exchange, with a nice flat finish with your palm through to your target. So the high hand shot is a basic swing that has a lot of power, but goes in the direction of the line of your approach. Now we're going to look at a couple of different shots that allow you to hit the ball around the block instead of over the top. The first shot we're going to look at is the basic line shot. And the line shot that she's going to use is still a draw mechanic. She's going to use an exchange and as she drives her left elbow down, she's going to make sure that she rotates her torso toward the line, keeps a high right elbow and finishes down to her side. One of the common mistakes that outside hitters will make is as they turn and rotate, they also finish with their right elbow and hand across their body, which then hits the ball out of bounds. Okay? If she's going to drive her left elbow down to her side and rotate her torso facing the line, then she needs to finish with her swing toward the line instead of cross her body and out of bounds. So we'll see a couple of line shots. She's in the high draw position. She goes fast exchange and faces the line as she drives her left elbow down. tight. Again, she's high draw. Both elbows are high. She has a nice fast exchange and when she drives that left elbow, she's facing the line and finishes with her right hand down to her side, hitting it down the line. Now, the next thing we're going to look at, because this is a fairly basic swing down the line, is we're going to look at a much more deceptive swing down the line. And this swing is called the cross body swing. This time, instead of driving her left elbow to her side, she's actually going to drive her left elbow down and toward her stomach. This is going to keep her torso, shoulders, everything rotated open toward the setter instead of open now toward the line. So she drives that left elbow hard into her stomach and that keeps her open and then she's going to finish with the right elbow high, but she's going to finish with a cross body swing. This gives the block and the defense the, the deception of thinking that she's going to hit to the cross court when in fact she ends up snapping the ball down the line. This is not necessarily a power shot as much as a deception shot. So you have to make sure that you keep that right elbow high through the swing. If you drop your right elbow low through the swing, you tend to hit that ball into the tape and you miss the kill opportunity. 
So let's look at a couple of cross body swings down the line. She's in a high draw, she goes exchange, but you can see the whole time she has her shoulders, hips, and head open toward me, the setter, from where the ball is coming. That's a great cross body swing. So again, high draw, she brings her left elbow and hand into her stomach and then finishes with her right elbow across her body to get the kill down the line. Cross body swing is something super effective if you're a powerful hitter. It brings your block inside when you hit power to the seam and then allows you to snap the ball down the line with a crossbody swing that looks the same as a seam hit.